Photo Math, Mathway, and other math solving apps. Teachers hate them, but students love them. Now, Photo Math claims that it aims to strengthen both comprehension and confidence in today's students. And Mathway says that it is the number one math problem solver, like a private tutor in the palm of your hand. Well, I'm a math tutor, and in this video, I will be reviewing both Photomath and Mathway. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Clara Tong. I tutor math online to students ages 11 and up. I help students achieve their own goals in math, whether it be getting excellent grades in school or preparing to study math at the university level. With that said, this video explores two questions. Do the free version of Photomath and Mathway actually help you learn math? Is one app more useful than the other? I spent over a day testing out the free versions of these apps under various situations. Here's what I found. Now let's see how Photomath deals with this pretty common trig question. All right, so Photomath recognizes my handwriting and it just tells you to calculate it. Oh, I guess it does tell you to use the trigonometric value table or the unit circle to evaluate it, but it doesn't give you the table unless you get Photomath Plus. There is such a thing as a trig value table. I've seen students try to memorize this, which I don't recommend. It's a lot better just to know your way around the unit circle. Now let's see what Mathway does. Mathway also recognizes my handwriting and it just says simplify the expression. It doesn't tell you how. Now here's a related question that I asked. Okay, it gives you the correct answer. Just not a huge amount of detail about the unit circle. Okay, so here is Mathway's solution to solving this problem. It gives you a general overview of what to do. If you don't know a certain math terminology, Mathway explains it. That is what a function is, but I don't know if a student would understand. I mean, this is correct. You would find the inverse of sine to solve the equation. And when you click on the word inverse, it gives you the multiplicative inverse, but not how to find the inverse of a function. You would have to, you would have to go to mathway.com to find out. So I did. If you didn't already know what an inverse was, would this make sense? It seems like somebody has submitted this problem to Photomath before and they found the numerical answer, which you actually could have found just by looking at the back of the book. Now let's try the problem underneath. Uh, nobody seems to have submitted this problem before, so you're out of luck. Mathway can't recognize this problem. But what Mathway can do is that it can calculate the surface area of a regular shape. All you have to do is click the calculator and input the information. But it won't show you how to do it. Wow! Photomath recognized what book this came from, except they called it pre -claculus. So there is an expert solution, and there is also a regular solution. So they did tell you which log law to use, and they do show you that you need to factor this. It even shows you how to factor it. Uh, this factoring method is really not what I tell students to use. If you want to learn how to factor quickly and easily, be sure to check out my factoring video. Okay, so it gives you the correct final answer. All this one says is to use the rules of logs to condense. I thought about trying out the paid version for a month and writing it off as a business expense, but then I thought, so what if MathWave were excellent at showing all the steps? Just because a computer can do this problem doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do a similar problem on your own. It really has to do with the mindset of the person who is choosing to use a math app to solve their math problems. An app like this is really better designed to help students 
do the question quickly. But if you are trying to develop real understanding on the problem, I don't think that an app like this is the way to go. When students are well equipped with problem solving skills, that is when comprehension and confidence are strengthened. The app takes away the thinking required for independent problem solving, and I really believe that students understand this full well. I think there is one use case in which these apps are useful. That is when you're doing homework problems, you don't have an answer key, and you just want to be sure that you are on the right track. As you do harder and harder questions correctly, you can gain confidence in this topic in algebra. In this specific case only, Photomath beats Mathway because it does show you all the steps that come in between the initial stage of the problem solving all the way to the end. I imagine that the paid version of Mathway is useful as well. If anybody has tried it, let me know in the comments how you found it. This concludes my review on Photomath, Mathway, and math problem solving apps in general. I don't believe that a personal math tutor is acting in your best interest if he or she just solves the problems in front of you and asks you to copy the steps. Example questions are well done this way, but not every single question. Now, I am in no way opposed to using technology to help students learn math. I myself use Desmos, a scientific calculator, GeoGebra, or Polypad to help my students visualize the problems better. I've left their websites as links in the description below. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you enjoy the content that I'm creating, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.